is the merchant of venice act 4 scene 1 i have three reference to the context passages for you and we will discuss the answers together extract 1 this bond doth give thee here no jot of blood the words expressly are a pound of flesh take then thy bond take thou thy pound of flesh but in the cutting it if thou dost shed one drop of christian blood this is the passage and now the questions one by one question a who is the speaker of the above lines to whom are the above words spoken and where are they at present two subparts therefore you must change the paragraph who is the speaker of the above lines the speaker of the quoted lines is Portia, disguised as a lawyer named Balthazar. Finished. This is the answer. One mark. Next. To whom are the above words spoken and where are they at present? Now, the words are spoken to Shylock, the Jew, and at present they are in the Venetian court of justice. You will get two marks if you write like this. Question A carrying two marks. It's time to read question B again carrying two marks. Explain this bond doth give thee here no jot of blood. The words expressly are a pound of flesh. Explain. Portia tells Shylock that according to the terms of the bond, he was not allowed to shed even a drop of, single drop of blood. Shylock was legally entitled to cut off a pound of flesh from nearest Antonio's bosom, but he was not allowed to shed a drop of blood. This is the explanation, a brief explanation to the point specific answers and write in simple English. Now, my dear boys and girls, if you have not watched my other videos on how to write a descriptive or subjective question and answer, kindly check the description box or the comment section for the playlist. Watch all our videos to have a better understanding of the concept. Question C. What would happen if the person spoken to shed even a drop of Antonio's blood? A question mark. What would happen if the person spoken to, that is, if Shylock shed even a drop of Antonio's blood? While cutting off a pound of flesh from Antonio's body, if Shylock shed even a drop of Antonio's blood, all his lands and other possessions would be confiscated by the state of Venice. This is the answer. All his lands and other possessions would be confiscated by the state of Venice. This is how you write your answers. Dear ICSE students, specific and precise to the point answers and frame your answers in such a way that you do not repeat the same words again and again frame it think a little before attempting the questions plan chalk out a plan question d three marks question c three marks Question D also, three marks. What previous offer is the person spoken to ready to accept immediately after this? The first subpart. What previous offer is the person spoken to ready to accept immediately after this? You must not write the person spoken to again and again. You have mentioned Shylock once in this extract, in this reference to the context. So, mention Shylock. No problem at all. Shylock is prepared to accept three times the amount stated in the bond and release Antonio 
from the obligation thrice the loan amount and release antonio from the obligation you must mention both these points three times and release antonio finished first sub part over now let's move on to the second sub part and you will have to change the paragraph what does the quoted extract reveal about the speaker a brief character sketch of the speaker you need to know the speaker and the listener of each and every extract and how will you do this by reading the text thoroughly there is no shortcut my dear students no shortcut at all nothing is going to help no pdf no summary nothing reading the text thoroughly again and again next let's read the answer now portia is witty and intelligent big tick marks witty intelligent keywords and has a great presence of mind third keyword she plays with words and successfully outwit and successfully outwits shylock she plays with words and successfully outwits shylock this is the answer see 1 2 3 4 5 6 six and a half not even half lines and you will get full three marks guaranteed next a little bit of practice check the previous year's questions a little bit of practice is enough for you to master the art of how to write a good subjective answer extract 2 reference to context o oh, be thou damned inexorable dog and for thy life let justice be accused thou almost makest me waver in my faith to hold opinion with pythagoras act 4 scene 1 who is the speaker gretchiano is the speaker finish this is the answer a brief answer who is being called in exorable dog and why Shylock is called an inexorable dog that is relentless dog why because he seems to be cruel merciless and deprived of any human feelings moreover no prayers can pierce or melt his heart therefore gretchiano calls him an inexorable dog observe how i will be framing the rest of the answers no repetition at all question b very slowly but steadily let's move on to question b who was pythagoras what was his opinion that is being referred to here the annotations the allusions everything is important don't leave out anything pythagoras was a greek philosopher who made important developments in mathematics astronomy and the theory of music he was a greek philosopher you must mention this and next what was his opinion that is being referred to here read properly pythagoras believed that souls of men appeared several times on earth assuming sometimes higher and sometimes lower forms of life and that the souls of animals may sometimes enter the bodies of men this philosophy this opinion is being referred to here the souls of animals may sometimes enter the bodies of men this is why you need to know the allusions and the annotations next question c how does the speaker describe the listener we all saw how the speaker that is gretchiano calls shylock an inexorable dog and how does the speaker describe the listener you will have to write that in detail here 
Graziano describes Shylock as an evil person having a currish spirit, a dog-like spirit. So, evil person, key expression, currish spirit, you need to mention this. And whose vicious soul, poisonous soul, used to belong to a wolf that was killed for slaughtering humans. The speech of Graziano is important. Everyone, pay attention. That speech is very important. Prepare that really well. Let me read from the beginning once again, very quickly. Graziano describes Shylock as an evil person having a currish spirit and whose vicious soul used to belong to a wolf that was killed for slaughtering humans. When he died, his cruel soul passed out of his body and went into Shylock's body while he was lying in his unholy mother's womb, still unborn. Okay? Shylock's desires, according to Graziano, are wolvish, bloody and ravenous. This is the answer. How does the speaker describe the listener? Three marks. Question C, three marks. And you need to write all these things in your answer. You need to mention all these things. Without these points, your answer will remain incomplete. The next question now. What does this reveal about his feelings about the listener? Critical analysis now, a critical comment. What does, what does this reveal about his feelings? Let's see. Graziano's annoyance and anger for Shylock is evident. He dislikes Shylock. Just two lines. Question D. Who enters the scene a little later? How is that person disguised? Who accompanies that person? From where has that person come? These are the four questions. Who enters the scene a little later? First subpart, how is that person disguised? Second subpart, who accompanies that person? Third subpart, from where has that person come? The fourth subpart, change paragraphs. Who enters the scene? Nerissa enters the scene. How is she disguised? She is disguised as a lawyer's clerk. Who accompanies her? She is accompanied by Portia, dressed as Balthazar, a doctor of law. And the last answer, she has come to represent Dr. Bellario at the Venetian Court of Justice. These are the four answers. Extract 3. Shylock. Shall I not receive my principal? Portia, thou shalt have nothing but the four feature to be taken at thy peril, Jew. Now the questions. Question A. Explain what Portia means by the quoted words. Thou shalt have nothing but the forfeiture to be taken at thy peril. Jew. Explain that. Portia, disguised as a lawyer, states that Shylock will get nothing but the forfeiture that is stated in the bond. He will exact the penalty of a pound of flesh at his own risk. The meaning of at thy peril is at his own risk. Here Jew refers to Shylock. I have explained each and every point very well. So this is enough to fetch for me two marks. Question A carrying two marks and now question number B carrying two marks. Let me just move to question B very slowly so that you can understand each and every answer. How does Shylock respond to her words? Shylock is annoyed, angry and says that Antonio will be free to take the money that is the principle of 3000 ducats in the name of the devil. He refuses to stay any longer at the Venetian Court of Justice to argue the matter. He clearly expresses his displeasure. This is Shylock's response to Portia's words. Annoyed, angry and says that Antonio will, free, uh, will be free to take the money. And then he curses Antonio that he will be free, he will be allowed to take the money in the name of the devil. 
he refuses to stay there he wants to go home as soon as possible and this clearly expresses his displeasure question c 3 marks what more does portia tell shylock about the laws of venice as applicable to an alien foreigner portia tells shylock that it is stated in the laws of venice that if it is proved that an alien or a foreigner has tried to kill any citizen the latter would be entitled to seize one half of the property of the former while the other half of that foreigner's property would come to the private treasury of the state furthermore the life of the offending foreigner who had employed some scheme or plot to put an end to the citizen's life would depend on the mercy of the duke only without the foreigner having any right to appeal against the duke's decision now i'm trying to adjust this so that you can read the answer together the entire answer this is a lengthy answer because the question is framed in that way you will have to mention all these points therefore this is lengthy portia play in the scene portia plays the role of a young lawyer named uh, balthazar in this scene she had disguised herself as a lawyer as a doctor of law in order to save antonio from the clutches of the cruel shylock and what does this reveal about her character she is extremely intelligent and clever she manages to outwit shylock and save antonio's life